Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new Resident Evil video and today guys I haven't really talked about Resident Evil Village in quite a while and I want to change that today. Today we are going to be talking about Resident Evil Village's first DLC, Shadows of Rose. I'm not going to be covering and deep diving into Shadows of Rose itself. I'm going to primarily talk about something that I feel that needs to be discussed because I feel a different way than most people about it and I would like to know your guys' honest input and thoughts on it. But in today's video guys, we're going to be going over that. But if you guys do go on to enjoy, drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and put notifications on so you guys don't miss a video. I'm going to be uploading more. Let's get right into this. So before I do continue on with anything else, this is the third person mode that is going to be getting added into Resident Evil Village on October 28th. And this is the description of it. Third person mode, the highly anticipated third person mode is here. You can now play the story mode from the third, pers the third person perspective. In this mode, players have an over the shoulder viewpoint and can see Ethan in action. This new vantage point provides a fresh experience for both new players and veteran players alike to experience Ethan's terrifying journey. Now that's officially coming from Capcom, right? Okay, that's from Capcom. But nowhere in that, and that's on their official page for Resident Evil Village where you can pre-order it. Nowhere in that does it say that this mode is going to be free. Now, look guys, I'm all about free and paid content. Trust me, it supports the developers and can provide longevity for certain games and it helps fund development. I understand that, you know, game companies need to make money back from games trust me they're pouring a lot of revenue into their games and of course i would understand that they need to get their money back i understand that from a business perspective but one individual feature that is a mainstay here in the franchise i feel different about i mean i've played resident evil 4 5 and 6 and these three games have all been set in first person i mean third person i'm sorry and when it comes to third person, I feel like a lot of people do enjoy that over the first person mode. And obviously first person mode is not something new into the franchise, but it was more popularized in Resident Evil 7 when they brought back the horror elements and tried something new with Resident Evil 7's first person mode. I'm well aware that not a lot of people do dig this. You know, I don't really mind the first person mode. I'm so used to third person because I mean, that's pretty much how the games are set, you know? I feel like, and this is just an unpopular opinion, a lot of people can disagree with me, that's fine, that's entirely fine. F Resident Evil is better off in third person. I, I, I probably would get a lot of hate for that, and I don't mind. I mean, I'm always open for discussions, but like I said, that's just an unpopular opinion that not a lot of people are going to agree with me on. But I mean, this is just something that I feel like a lot of people aren't realizing. Look. The DLC comes out on October 28th, that's almost two months away, right? And we're just eagerly awaiting it and just expecting more and more. We're not even getting a lot of information. Capcom has been on this trend where they're not really releasing any information or going into depth of anything. They're not letting us consumers know anything about this DLC. Like I said, guys, I'm all for open discussions about these kind of things, you know? I'm always open to talk about things that should be paid for and should not be paid for, but I think this is just personally one of those things that I just feel like Capcom should just make free. And if it, it turns out to be you have to pay for this, I mean, oh man, that's just the big downside to this DLC. I mean, we waited almost a year and a half for just something like this. That's gonna be a major L on Capcom's end. But like I said, guys, that's all I really wanted to bring up and talk about in today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. New video coming tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.